and I'm a research investigator at the University of Naples and a stranger advanced biotechnology in Naples, Italy. Here, I will work on a paper recently published on Cytomatic Draft Day entitled Comparison of two flow based imaging methods to measure individual their blood cell area and volume. In this work, we provide the first simultaneous area and volume measurements of their blood cells flowing in microcapillaries by using ice feed medium microscopy and quantitative data processing based on image analysis techniques. Surface area measurements, which are lacking in the routine clinical test, are of special interest being a potential diagnostic parameter of arterial cell deformability and aggregability. Glass cylindrical microcapillaries with inner diameter of 10 and 50 micrometer were placed on the cover slip of a plexiglass flow cell. A diluted red blood cell suspension was fed, fed into the flow cell using flexible tubing connected to an input glass reservoir and was collected in an output reservoir. The total pressure drop across the microcapillaries can be taken as proportional to the distance between the liquid menisci in the two glass reservoirs. To measure individual red blood cell volume and surface area, two kinds of cell shape were considered. The biconclave disc shape, which is found when the cell is at rest or when it slowly flows in a tube three to four times bigger than cell size, referred to as unbounded flow regime. And secondly, the parachute shape, which is found when the cell flows in a capillary with a diameter compiled with its own size, referred to as confined flow regime. Concerning the unbounded flow condition, the experiments were carried out in a 50 micrometer capillary. In these conditions, a red blood cell takes its biconclave disc shape, its contour is dic discretized by image analysis to measure surface area volume. Concerning the confined flow, as happens in a 10 micrometer capillary, where blood cell volume and surface area is evaluated by regarding the cell as an axisymmetric solid of evolution around the x-axis. On the basis of comparison with cool to cell analyzer data, we show that high-speed imaging of 10 micrometer capillary flow provides a reliable way of measuring red blood cell size parameters. In particular, measurements of red blood cell surface area currently lacking in routine clinical tests are also obtained. Unlike impedance measurements, our microfluidic technique is well suited for monitoring and measuring individual red blood cell geometric parameters, such as volume and surface area at a single cell level. It does not require suspending cells in electrolyte solutions and, being an invasive technique, could be used to analyze images of flowing in their blood cells from in vivo experiment as well. Thank you for watching this video.